this is Fatty. Um, she's the nurse at the village clinic. And um, Fatty, I just wanted to show you what we, the training we've done with the the guys who've been doing the chainsaw training because we've left them some first aid equipment um, and it would be really useful if, if you know what we've taught them um, because we've said to them there is a certain amount they can do if they have an accident in the bush they know what to do immediately but then they have to bring the casualty to you so it would be useful if you know what they know okay so um, they have two they have two first aid kits this is this is the first one um, that they keep in their pocket in their chainsaw trousers so that it's with them wherever they go and this slightly larger um, first aid pack is hung in a tree somewhere where they can get to it quickly um, and in this one they have um, some gloves um, they have uh, some eye wash if they get some wood or something in their eye. Um, uh, they have what we call a, a, a pressure bandage. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these. Um, I'll show you these in a moment. So they have one of those and they have they have this which is a, a very special kind of dressing. It's called wound cloth and it's, it looks the same as um, uh, one of these ordinary dressings. It looks the same but Impregnated into the gauze is uh, a special hemostatic uh, compound which stops the bleeding. So they press it on the wound and it stops the bleeding. Um, and so they have all that within their first aid pouch. Now this, this pressure dressing, we told them, um, um, we told them that if they cut themselves with a chainsaw on their leg or on their arm, they shouldn't do on their legs, they should have chainsaw trousers on, but if they, they cut themselves somewhere else, first of all to open this and put that on. Uh, and then when they tear this open, it's vacuum packed, so it comes out like this. And this, this is a, yeah, to bandage it. It's a special bandage because this bar goes over the wound, so if they cut themselves here, the bar goes over the wound, and yeah, and through there. That's correct. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know already. Yeah. yeah. Good. So put it through here, and and then back, and then very tightly. very tightly over the wound, so it pushes pressure down onto the wound to, to help stop the, the bleeding. Um, and every one of them will have, have this in their pocket. If it is a very bad, a very bad accident and they go to the, to the bleed control kit, okay, this has one, this has some extra things in it. So it has a larger, a larger version of this slightly bigger, has a four inch bandage, six inch bandage. Um, these, these scissors are very special because the chainsaw trousers that they wear, the material is very hard to cut. You, you can't cut it with ordinary scissors uh, or even ordinary medical shears. These are special medical shears, they've got a serrated blade and they will cut through the material. So. If uh, a log falls on them or a branch and they break their leg and you need to get inside, cut, their, cut the chainsaw trousers up. If you need to get inside to get to the wound, um, you can use these. Uh, and these are in the, in the pack here. Okay. Um, they have to be careful not to lose. They're, they're, they're quite expensive and they are, as I say, they're quite unique that they, they will cut through the material. Other scissors won't. They also have... Um, they have an ordinary dressing, they have some more eye wash. This is uh, a tourniquet. It's a new kind of uh, tourniquet. And if they have an accident, a bad accident, and they cut themselves so they have an arterial bleed, 
we told them to we taught them how to use this um, and this works in you take the wrapper off and it comes out like this and if you look on this side it has a, a, a pattern on here mm -hmm. and as you stretch the material as you stretch the rubber the rectangles become squares um, as you see there you stretch it, it becomes squares and that tells you that you have it tight enough so if I've cut myself here and I'm I've got an arterial bleed. Um, we've taught them. Yeah, you, do you want to have a go? So pull it tight. Okay, and round. Okay, and keep keep pulling it tight so that these become square. Okay, like that tighter. And again, round. Okay, and the more you put on the tighter it gets. And you can go, keep going. Okay. And eventually I can feel my... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you just tuck it in. And they've all been trained how to, how to do that. So I will, I will give you this one for the clinic. I hope you never have to use it. <laughs> it is no, I will use it. I hope you never but have to use it. Um, I, 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 it's useful for other things, though, yeah. as well, because um, if you uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, you wouldn't. You only have a, a an ordinary bandage, yeah. okay? And you put an ordinary bandage on. You can use this to apply pressure, not not so tight as the tourniquet, just a little bit tight. You know, but it makes it makes an ordinary bandage into a pressure bandage because it you can make it just a, just a little bit tight to give pressure onto the onto the wound to stop the bleeding. So it's it's good for that. Um, it's good for uh, what else can you do? Well, splinting. Uh, break my leg. You don't have to put it on the sides. No. No. If you wound you here, you have to tie up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, we there is some debate in, in the UK, um, but we the, the the thing we teach is if you are close to a hospital, you can try putting the tourniquet just a little bit above the wound. Either you know here you could go here, oh, okay. or here you could go here. But here, where you are uh, a long way from the hospital. Um, this is easier to tourniquet because, as, as you know, you only have one bone here. So you're pinching the, the artery against one bone. It's easy. Here you've got two bones. Sometimes it's more difficult to pinch the, the artery. Same, same here. Two bones, one bone. So here is easy, here a little more difficult. Here is easy, here a little more difficult. So we've taught them to go here and here. And, and they, they understand that. Um, so what else can you use this for? You can use it to uh, hang up a drip. <laughs> hang up a drip. You can use it to splint, splint a leg. If you have a broken leg, you can use it to help splint. All kinds of things. So they're quite, they're quite clever. Uh, but if it's used as a tourniquet, you must get it as tight so that these, these become square. Yeah. Uh, and gradually build up the pressure, more and more wraps, and then just tuck it in. And I had a device, I showed the guys, uh, that measures the pulse. And when they got this on me, the pulse stopped. So they, they have confidence that it will, that it will work. Um, Wait, can I ask you how many of each kit you have? Is it red they have, to red? They have, one, they have one bleed pack for the working party. Mm -hmm. It's a central central area wherever they're working they know to go and hang that in a tree uh, and then they go off and they all have one of these in their pocket so eight of those uh well four, four. the chainsaw guys four. the four chainsaws yeah. i know it's on the itinerary i just thought it was useful for a video yeah. thank you yeah so you can you can keep that one um and i also have some um this is uh this is very expensive in the uk so it's not just 
I wouldn't use it for just an ordinary cut, but if you have a very bad cut and you are finding it difficult to stop the bleeding okay. for a bad cut, then try this. It's very, very effective. Uh, and uh, and as, as it says, uh, advanced bleeding control. Uh, it has a very special compound in the gauze. And I think you'll find that useful. So, yeah, you can have this one. Uh, oh, no, that goes in there. Yeah, you can have that one. So those. And, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, I'll give you... Uh, that goes in there. And that goes in there. I'll go back in the store. So all of this will be in the store. That, with, this will be in the store. With Junisa, with the chainsaws. So it's not in the clinic, Fatty, but you know whenever the community do things with the chainsaws, you know they should have this. Yeah. And we will ask Junisa to check, but they always take... Yeah, we must remind them when they, when they go off to work in the morning, remember to take this with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and remember they have this in their pocket. Yeah. Okay. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Other, otherwise, they cannot work. It's the same with the live and well and Stephen. If I see him without a helmet, no job. It's so important to stay safe. Uh, that's for the clinic.